Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel that features more Japanese music. There's been quite an influx of Asian music on my channel because I want to give a lot of Asian music a chance to be heard this side of the water. This is what my channel's about. I've just featured Zach Bryan, he's underrated, ex-army guy from America, Oklahoma, wonderful voice that I'm calling Ed Sheeran stroke Gareth Brooks. Now I'm introducing you to Japanese music, upbeat cha Japanese music. And whom are they? Yoshika is two people that was created by Universal Music Japan and they were founded in 2017 and the group is composed of M. Bunner, a former Vogeloid music producer which is a piece of machinery created in Spain in Barcelona that incorporates your vocals and is able to produce a more synthesized sound that kind of thing and just create some more interesting vocal when you're creating music. So they're known for their juxtaposition, passionate and upbeat production of instrumental fused with heavier lyrical content, which often explores ideas as love and human emotions and draws from the works of literature, including Masjui Ibusi, which is a Japanese author, and Jules Verne, which is a French author. So they're inspired by poets and authors for the lyrics. And the name Yoroshiki is taken from a lyric in their song, Kumo to Yuri. There's more information in the description and the links to their music, but I want to get into the first of their music on my channel called Plagiarism. There isn't much background to what it's about, but that ought to give you an idea of what they're about and what their music's about. I've got the lyrics in front of me. As always, after the song, I will give you my interpretation. So let's hear, it's in English translations, by the way. So let's hear this wonderful upbeat song that is by the Japanese duo Hirosuke. I'm just adjusting everything to make sure it's perfect. Take it away. You're sticky.
綺麗なものだったな化けの皮なんていつかがれる見向きもされない夜が来るその時に見られる景色が真相を楽しんでそうだ Just to keep it dark, the screen, and less distracting while I explain the lyrics. My first introduction to this group is wonderful. I really enjoy them. And she had powerful vocals. And as a duo, I could hear a lot of the rock guitar, which is great because that's why they were created. I think absolutely brilliant music. I'm looking forward to researching and bringing them on more and more and more. And I've got the lyrics in front of me, so we're going to go through them as quickly as they, as they can. What was my cue to start music? Question mark. I wonder if it was one of my father's records? Question mark. Hearing the sounds of it felt good, and just listening needed no effort. So straight away, it's they're asking when they were brought together. What was her interest when she was young in music? Where did I first? It could have been anywhere where you heard music, where you got your influence from, but I'm glad you did, because after listening to that, you're going to be on my channel a lot, you two, throughout 2022. It continues, no need for prefaces, let's just talk. Sometimes I thought of something. If I made this song my own, I could probably fill the void inside. So that is why I stole. Now, what they're saying there is, when you write a song, you write your own words from your own heart, from your feelings. And, or if you sing a song, you usually sing, and if it's somebody else's, you usually sing that song because you can relate to the words. If you're hurting, you sing a song that is sad. If you're happy, you sing a happy song, that kind of thing. So you, when she says, I stole, it's more or less stealing somebody else's lyrics or somebody else's ideas but making them your own. It's like making, mixing them together and then creating something wonderful. So she continues, ah, it's not enough. All of it isn't enough. I'm not satisfied even one bit. At this rate, I can't live on alone. I, I want to know more. I want to know more about love. I want to know something beautiful, something beautiful enough to satisfy his heart of mine. So she's on a journey musically she's on a journey in love she's got somebody she's interested in and it's a song about will, will that person notice them how can i make them notice me so that's what she's asking one day i realized that the songs that run through the city are mine it was natural that it would sell because i stole a famous work after all we all steal famous works what does she mean by that everywhere around us there are words, there are images, there are, it's craziness. It's like we're always influenced by what we see, by our telephones, what we read, everything. So she took something and made it her own. So she's always taking things in a city, at home, in her mind, with her music, always taking. I stole, but we all steal in a good way. I call it recycling, actually. 
I wonder what my cue was to start music. She goes back to ask that question. I've forgotten it now, but I remember that it wasn't greed. It might have been something beautiful. It certainly was because your lyrics are po poetic and very beautiful. They're relatable lyrics that we can all relate to. So your question is answered by your fans, by people like me listening. You were meant to do music because you have a story to tell, many stories. I'm an author, I have wrote books. I have many stories to tell. And people who write songs and lyrics are, are the same. She continues, oh, it's not enough, I want to write more. I'm not satisfied with this sort of song. I'm not satisfied with your abusive words. I want to write about love. I still don't know. I, I, I want to know something beautiful enough to satisfy this heart of mine. So she's suffering. This person isn't being nice to her, isn't recognizing her enough, isn't giving her enough love. So she writes about it. And that's why she says, I want to write more. Because when she writes, she writes about the things she wants, the things she dreams of. The, we all do. And that's why we like songs, particular songs, because those lyrics appeal to us. And then she says, still not enough at the end, still not enough, still not enough. I never understand what's missing. Still not enough. I want to know more. In life, we walk forward, we walk forward. Some of us run, but we all jump over different things in life. We want to know more. We want to travel the world. We want to eat different types of food. We want to have um, good friends. We always want, there's always something. We're never satisfied. We are human beings. Our mind is always programming us to want more. The thing is, we have to learn in life that sometimes more is less. Thanks for listening. I hope you've been into, liked my introduction to Yushika and plagiarism. Welcome on board. I'm going to feature you a lot more in 2022. Yous are the duo I've been waiting for from Japan.